Everything good in life, a cool business, a great romance, a powerful social movement, everything good in life begins with a conversation. Talking with each other one-to-one -one is human beings' most powerful form of attunement. Conversations help us to understand and connect with others in ways that no other species can. Between September 19th and December 16th of this past year, I had the great fortune of visiting each Ann Arbor Public School, as well as community locations to engage with staff, parents, groups of high school students, and community members in an insightful dialogue. In these meetings, we used a World Cafe approach to facilitate a discussion of four critical questions. First, what do we celebrate at our school and in Ann Arbor Public Schools? Second, what areas in our AAPS system need our attention to improve? Third, what do we dream that Ann Arbor Public Schools will be known for in 10 or 15 years? And finally, what are the top three priorities you would like to see the superintendent address? The data from these dialogues have been sorted and analyzed by a team of University of Michigan School of Education graduate and doctoral students. This analysis will inform our planning and guide us in refining direction and vision, goals and aspirations, and inform our immediate next steps to be in alignment with the pulse of our Ann Arbor community. We are excited to share with you the initial assessments of what we have learned from the tour. You will notice that the comprehensive report presents the listen and learn data within the structure of the district strategic plan, organizing the data through the eight strategies. From the visits and listening, we are coming to understand the individual stories of each of our 34 schools their unique historical context, their current challenges, and the goals and hopes for the future. The individual school stories inform our district work to discover the best path forward for improvement. At each of our 34 school stops, so much appreciation was shared by all participants. I must have heard hundreds of times from parents, students, and community, how very much they admire and appreciate our incredible Ann Arbor Public Schools staff. Let's now explore the four questions and share what we have learned so far. The Ann Arbor Public School community celebrates many wonderful features about our school district. Exemplary student academic achievement, socioeconomic, racial, and ethnic diversity, overall quality of teachers and staff, a strong core curriculum and many enrichment opportunities, including the arts, athletics, and special programs. Although we have experienced reductions, AAPS still has leveraged resources in ways that we celebrate, such as maintaining our commitment to the arts, a rich offering of electives, athletics, extracurricular opportunities, and community partnerships. Parents report that diversity in the Ann Arbor Public Schools reflects the world at large, and this is a celebration. Participants express the positive relationships characterized by high levels of respect and trust are additional elements that makes AAPS strong. All strong organizations regularly take a look at opportunities to improve. Reflection is a very important step in order to enact positive change. The most prominent themes were around funding, both increasing, reinstating funding that has been lost at the state level, redirecting what funds are available to match community priorities, and achieving equity in the allocation of our financial resources across district schools and all levels, as well as student support and development. This community is weary of the many years of incremental cuts that have directly impacted the classrooms. We heard clearly during the tour that the pattern of continued cuts needs to be replaced with an efficient, forward-thinking plan of action, 
that maintains transparency and accountability in our schools. Development opportunities for staff and students, communicating expectations, articulating vision and defining a direction for the district are all key areas that this community told us we need to reflect upon. And finally, communication, internal within our district, across our community, and in advocacy at the state level is a primary area where we need to prioritize and make positive change. Increasing the number and quality of partnerships and working to improve relationships between and among students, staff, parents, and the community. Overwhelmingly, the data shows that our dreams reflect a strong desire to maintain and enhance the high standard and reputation of the Ann Arbor Public Schools. There is a strong desire for more consistent quality of education in our schools, no matter what school a student attends. There is a pattern in our dreams that calls for us to coordinate a more comprehensive staff development program to support professional growth to ensure ongoing improvements in the delivery of education to meet the needs of all students. There is a desire to see our students as not only high performing academically, but also as problem solvers, globally aware, and responsible world citizens. The dream is to develop the whole child. The dream is to ensure all AAPS schools, the infrastructure and operational needs of our buildings are all in the best shape possible. Technology integrated to serve instruction, better and healthier food choices are all areas that our community dreams and hopes will be given positive attention to ensure the long range sustainability of our district. The final question asked of the participants in the Listen and Learn Tours was about priorities. What are the top priorities that the superintendent of the Ann Arbor Public Schools should address? What emerged from the data was an emphasis on the importance of funding, resource utilization, and especially finding a better way to balance the district's budget without continuing the cuts and reductions to staff and programs. Additionally, we heard that people want more class selections, more language options, and more equity across our schools, which translates into a better balance in socioeconomics and diversity in our schools achieved by developing programs that better prepare our students. Other priorities from the Listen and Learn data are to maintain and enhance our classroom curricula, class offerings, and school-based programs. The Listen and Learn Tour was an exceptional example of the Ann Arbor School community coming together to participate in a conversation to better understand the specific steps we can take to extend and enhance the quality for which Ann Arbor is already well known. I am proud of the extremely high level of engagement in this listen and learn process and I want to thank everyone who participated and shared their experience, wisdom, hopes, and dreams for this district for our children. We will continue our conversation over the coming weeks and months to provide ongoing opportunities to interact face-to-face -face with our parents, students, staff, and community. I do have some initial next steps that I want to share with you. Next steps will fall into the categories of creating advisory groups around some of the big rocks shared from our community. These include infusing programs into schools to retain and attract students to Ann Arbor, refining communication and assessment practices, increase engagement with community leaders, offer consistent opportunities for face-to-face -face interaction with parents, students, and staff, improve the cleanliness, curb appeal, and overall condition of our physical buildings, offer more input into the budgeting process, devise more innovative, efficient ways to achieve our priorities, conduct budget planning in a forward-thinking mode, and advocate at the state level. We have posted an online opportunity for applications for prospective members to join a student assessment advisory group, whose task will be to examine current student assessment practices, understand state requirements, which are currently changing, 
and bring forward recommendations to inform an amended student assessment plan for 2014-15. We heard clearly the importance of sparkling, clean, well cared for learning environments in every school. Currently, our staff are investing extra time in the schools to more thoroughly clean them so that our Ann Arbor pride shines through in the cleanliness, the sparkle of every building. We will continue with Project Sparkle efforts over the coming months. We've begun initial work with community leaders from across all sectors of Ann Arbor, including business, nonprofit, higher education, and municipal entities in the existence of a superintendent's Blue Ribbon Advisory Group. This group of advisors will continue to weigh in on our listen and learn findings as they meet from November to June to explore, advise, and challenge the work of improvement. We will continue communication with our research partners from the University of Michigan who continue to explore the listen and learn responses. Thank you for your participation in this Ann Arbor Community Dialogue. We are coming together as a community to better understand the specific steps we can take to extend and enhance the quality for which Ann Arbor is already well known. This community conversation is illuminating the path forward, the ways we can grow together. Ann Arbor, we have important work to accomplish together. After all, our children are counting on us. Thank you for the opportunity to serve the Ann Arbor Public Schools students, staff, and community.